How's it going, guys? Out here in the garage, I'm masking off a tank real quick with duct tape. Just realized I was out of tape. And since it's only a quick job, just gonna have to do. But, uh, talking about the American. Before I walked out here, I see I got a text message from you, Mike. Mike, I didn't, obviously didn't call you back. Been out here for three hours or so doing the yard work. Just so everybody knows, that generator worked awesome. I ran it for an hour and a half at full, uh, well, almost full, 12 amp load with the blower. Never turned the blower off uh, just to do it. So that was a good score, I think. Bought that last year sometime and swapped me for 40 bucks. Talking about the American, I know Mike's interested in the American, he always has, always has been. I got the car 12, 13 years ago. The uh, original owner had passed away, it went up for sale in an estate sale with uh, 27,000, like 500 miles in it. The guy I know bought it, used it back and forth to his shop for a year or so. I got it, it had 37,000 on it. It was full documentation from the day the car was bought with the original, with I guess GM guys would call it protect the plate. Name C, it's a little plastic credit card looking thing that hooks in the uh, owner's manual. You can see every service they did from Rambler to Rambler died. <laughs> and it's amazing how many years it took them to do the service and it's like pretty remarkable. Uh, still has the stickers in the door. Uh, see, Mike knows the history of the car. I'm never going to tell anybody it's restored. It's not restored. Basically, that thing, I had the outside of that car reshot. That was it. Everything else is what it is. That car is the closest you're going to get to a brand new 68 Ramble America. It starts up on the click. The brakes will put you through the windshield. You're going to be doing 80 well on the brakes 10 times. It'll never pull a fade. I've driven that car to Maryland. I've driven it up to Connecticut a bunch of times. I've driven it to Jersey. I put a little over 5,000 miles on it since I got it. Uh, the only mechanical things I've done to that car, obviously, is the tune-up, lots of oil changes, and it had the original factory exhaust on there with a pinhole in the pipe, and I actually found NOS piping. Found the all the NOS piping minus the muffler and had a guy do it. And he put the muffler on just like it would be from the factory. Uh, back back then, they gave you a five-year or no, it was, what was it? It was unlimited years, fifty thousand mile warranty on the exhaust. It was ceramic coated. So when the exhaust did go, I was going to bring it back to Chrysler, but I wasn't the original owner just to see what Chrysler would say about it. Uh, like I said, it's not a restored car. The car is done the same way it came out of the factory. If there was an issue with them letting something, you know, with the lead, when they let a seam, it stayed that way. Every floor on the body was circled on that car when I brought it to the guy to paint it. I did exactly opposite to what anybody else would do when they build the car. I made sure every floor on the car was untouched, um, including every seam got back masked so there wouldn't be a paint line. I did not want the jams painted, not want them to be painted. I want to look the same way paint from the factory. Uh, I was pretty anal back then, but not anal where I was going to over-restore it. I hate over-restored cars. If you build a resto mod, I love it. But if you take a car and you put 2,000 hours into the body, you know, do everything on the frame rail, not a frame rail's gloss black, this is that, 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 every gap is correct on the car. You go to the show, you open the hood and everything's a mirror and then you tell me that it's restored. It's not restored, it's over restored. And unfortunately, that's what the public's gotten used to. So when you're rolling to a show with a really restored car, you get points off. But I've never, I've never followed the rules. I mean, I obey the law. I just don't follow the rules. I don't do things to make other people happy. So, 
Am I thinking about selling it? Absolutely. Do I want to sell it? Absolutely not. There's a lot of memories in that car. I'm going back and forth on this. It's not something that's going to happen within the next week. Uh, Junior pretty much grew up in that car because the three of us couldn't fit in the AMX. It's only two seats. So that's why I actually bought the car. When they're calling up for sale, I had to have it. I, that was one of my favorite. That is my favorite uh, AMC Rambler that they make. It's the American. So, like I said, I gotta, I gotta find a car that's equal to it. I know it's gonna cost more money in a Mustang form, but I gotta find a car that's equal to it. I don't want a butcher load. I don't care if it's over restored, but um, I don't want something that is past its prime. And I don't mean where I have to detail the engine compartment again. I mean where. You're starting to see Bondo blisters and bubbles and cracks all over the car because that's just a time bomb. I don't really like buying cars that are done. The only other car, only other car I bought that was done was the AMX and I still pulled it apart. So, but this is going to be a present. I don't have time to restore this. I have time. I can go over it. She'll never know. I can work on it right in front of her. She probably wouldn't pick up on it. Not meaning she's stupid. Meaning she's lost all interest in my cars. <laughs> But, in her defense, she is a car person, because she allows me to have, I have four classics now, and I've had up to six at one time. My problem is, is I truly do not have the room for another car, and to store it indoors. So, but that's where I stand on that car. Like I said, I hate to see it go. But, you know, there's points in your life where doing things with your family are a little more important. I don't use it as much as I should, but every time I use it, I enjoy it to death. I don't think I've had a car yet in all my years that I've enjoyed as much as that car. Well, other than beating the crap out of the Concorde, but that's a different story altogether. Uh, so, in, me, in my eyes, I got a couple different levels of cars here. The AMX is bone stock, minus the Group 19 camshaft in it. The American. It's bone stock, but it has wheels on it, and the front spoiler, uh, to give it a little bit more of a touch, and then the wagon's all out. So, I don't know, I'm going to mask this off with my son. Nothing to really watch. I thought I had some tape here. I don't. Just to paint the, I know you guys can't see it, we're just going to paint the back here real quick. So I mess this, there's a black line, I always leave a little edge on the fit, whoops, there we go, I don't even know what I'm looking at guys, I always leave a little edge on the fish tanks. So it's, I don't like to mask it on the side, I'll mask the back. So this was his uh, 29 gallon piranha tank. The piranha doesn't, isn't growing too quick. <laughs> he started out as a little guy, he was three quarters of an inch, had a dozen of them. And uh, had some issues. That's besides the point. This scaled this fish, and we had put medicine in one day that was for scaled fish, and it pretty much broke in 20 minutes, except for this guy. Hey, little guy, I'm just masking this up for you. So I don't have any of the blue masking tape, so we're duct taping it. We're rednecking it. Read Nick. Can you say read Nick? I guess you can. So. Uh, let me put the last couple of pieces on here and we're going to paint it with some uh, quick color. I don't know who makes that, but it's cheap. I don't remember where I got it. I you bought this for the guide coat. I don't know if I got this from the Home Depot. I don't even remember. But it's fast drying. That's what it says. Anything that's flat black dries fast. <laughs> so, so, that's it guys. Let me... Let me finish this masking job. There you go, guys. Well done. I think I'm out bad. He still has to uh, clean the inside. So everything you see is on the inside. 